Hey everybody, Mad Muck here from Mad Muck's Game Room. Welcome to Game Room Hall number 26. Um, today, don't have much stuff, so it's going to be short and sweet, hopefully. Um, I haven't got many things, but I've got a couple of relatively big ticket items. Uh, first, I've gone through my Pokemon card collection again, because turns out I didn't really know about the Ultra Rares and the Secret Rares. Turns out I've got a few Ultra Rares, which are really cool. So, yay! Um, <laughs> otherwise, there's not many updates to, to go on this time around, so let's just get into the haul. Right, first, games. Got two games. Two physical copies of games. Uh, first one is also kind of an update type thing. Um, the Witcher 3 for PS4. Um, if you watch my last game room haul, I had the I got the Witcher 3 for PC. Yes, for PC. Um, and I did not actually know. I got the one for PC because it had the soundtrack, the map, and all this bonus content. And uh, I was like, oh, cool. That's like a little box set. So I'll get that um, and might just get the PS4 one. Turns out the PS4 one comes with the exact same stuff, just one disc. So, uh, yeah, I got this one. It was pretty cheap. Uh, I think this was a second-hand one. Um, still comes with all the goodies, so that's very rare. All right? I th I'm pretty sure this was the second one. I'm hoping this was the second one. I, I don't know. It was cheap. Um, the downloadable content... Um, yeah, even if it's second-hand, I don't think it comes with downloadable content. No, it doesn't. It just comes with the um, the Witcher Universe Compendium, the detailed world map, which I have that one there, um, the soundtrack, and the Wolfhead stickers. So, groovy. Now, what I've done with the PC version, I've given it away. Because I don't really need it. Um, so, yeah, very happy to have that. I've been playing it. It's reputation is very well deserved it is such a beautiful game to play it is just such a pretty game so yeah Witcher 3 now this one came out this was one of my pre-orders and ah oh, I'm loving it loving it the limited edition of World of Final Fantasy this is freaking awesome I love playing this game it's it's got a character in there that's just incredibly no annoying um, I will compare it to Navi from um, Ocarina of Time. Oh, but everything else in this game is just awesome. I, I just love it. I love the, the style of it. Got the cute little chibis in it. Um, you've got some cameos from, from quite a few of, you know, your favorite Final Fantasy characters. Uh, the limited edition comes with a few little bonus contents. Um, you get the Lilikin, which is the chibi of Sephiroth. Yes, um, you get, um, what are they, three Mirages, um, the Bonnet Berry, the White Choke Bow, and the Glow Moogle, okay, and then uh, one of the other um, downloadable content is the Japanese voiceovers, okay, cool, um, and the limited edition comes with, it comes in this um, book style. It's like a matte finished book bleh, with really cool artwork on it. And it comes with the, the download codes, which I'm not going to put on camera for you guys to steal from me. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's the case. And like the Goosebumps movie I got, the, the case is also the book. So it's real cool. Really, really awesome. Um, it's not the, the big... Uh, what do you say? Collector's pack that I actually wanted for for this World of Final Fantasy because there is a really big one that comes out. It's it's like a massive, like thick book that you open up and it's got all these little goodies with it. But I'm still very glad to have this. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I haven't played a lot of it. Um, I probably put in about an hour. Um, it's still really really cool. So yeah. Is that one and those were the only two like physical copies of games that I got um, like I said not many but these are good quality games um, I got them I spent a bit of money on them um, they weren't just like you know 
$2 bargain bin games where I'm just like, I'll just grab a bunch of those because I don't have them. No, these ones I actually really wanted, so happy to have that. Moving on with games, um, I got this one collector's box um, that doesn't include the game. I don't know, it just confuses me, but it's really cool. It's similar to my um, collector's edition of Final Fantasy XIV's Heaven's Ward. Uh, which was like 200 and something dollars that went straight down to like 30 something dollars and I was just like I, I have to get it I'm never gonna play it, but I have to get it because it's just an awesome collector's pack That's super cheap and it's brand new same with this. It's a little bit banged up. It's been on the shelf since day one um, But everything in it is just in pristine condition. So very happy to have it. I haven't got the game but um, I'm looking at getting the game because I actually do want to play it. Um, not my style of game, but still, I want to play it. It is the Dark Souls 3 collector's box with pack thing, a box bundle, I don't know. It's, it's a cool box. Um, so let's just open it up and see what's inside. Right, first off, let's go with the cheapest looking item in this box which is very bizarre because this this was reduced like I think by to a quarter of its original price um, I think it was below the quarter of the original price and for the price that it was originally you'd think that this would be way better quality than what it actually is but I'm not complaining because I did get it for a rather cheap price. I'd be really complaining if I got it for the original price. But this is the Esther Flask. Very cheap piece of plastic. <laughs> it's actually it's actually pretty shitty. I, I thought that, oh okay, maybe it glows in the dark, but no, no, it's it's just yeah. Real cheap. But well whatever, you know. That, that's probably the worst part of this. The rest of it is just freaking awesome. Um, you get this real cool diary. It's um, like, it's almost like a suede finish. It's really, really cool, like super matte finish. And um, the, the paper is actually really cool. Like the, um, I don't know if you can see it in there. I don't know if it's going to work right, but yeah, it's... I like um, getting diaries for, for games, like I've said before, but yeah, this one's really, really cool, and I'm putting my, my grubby fingerprints all over it, gross. Okay, there's that one. Uh, there's really, really cool letter opener, uh, if it wants to come out. This is where all the quality went. Okay, let's see if I can get this up nice and close. You see that? It's a sword. This is metal. It's not plastic. And that is freaking awesome, right? So cool. Really, really groovy. Okay. There's that. And there's a download code for an e-guide. Yay. Alright. And you get this. Oh, if it's going to pop out. There we go. Oh. Whoop. You get... The strategy guide for Dark Souls 3. I haven't got a single physical copy of any of the Souls games. I have the first Dark Souls on Xbox 360 um, virtual console. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at getting the Dark Souls games because they are very popular. They're, they're rather iconic games. So yeah, hopefully going to get those ones. Definitely going to get the third one because I want it to go with this pack and I want to get the special edition too. Just awesome. So there's that pack which was again a very high quality, well, ugh, after saying this, this flask is shit, a, a really um, like kind of a big ticket item. It's It was really expensive but reduced to a price that was just could not pass it up. I just could not pass it up. It was either get that or get the um, the Pokemon uh, card pack. I forgot which one it was. The Elite 
card pack for Pokemon 20, which I still really want to get, but that's actually quite pricey. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all the game things that I got. I'll just scooch this over here. So those are all the games that I got for this time around. Like I said, not many, but big ticket items. So, cool. Um, going from video games to board games, I got myself another character for Super Dungeon Explore. I got the Tabby Brook Mage. It's another little cat girl. And this one's really cool. I started painting it, haven't finished it. Um, kind of just lost my mojo when I, when I started painting it. But this one's really cool. It's not like um, Nyan Nyan um, because this one is just a hero. It doesn't uh, go as a mini boss, just a hero. And it's really, really groovy. I like getting the, the new ones um, because their molding seems to be a lot better quality than what the original pack was. So the original pack was, uh, man, it had so much molding slag on it. But uh, these ones are actually really, really good. So I'm very happy to have that one. I'm slowly building my collection of um, Super Dungeon Explorer. So that's my um, board game things that I've got. I just got the one. Um, I got one movie. One movie, and I'm so glad that I got this movie. I freaking love this movie. And um, <laughs> I actually discovered something pretty, pretty crazy about it. Um, the Thing. It's actually meant to be called The Thing from Another Planet. Um, this is the 1951 film, which I guess is the original. Um, and then you've got the John Carpenter film. And then you've got the prequel to the John Carpenter film. And then you've got the PlayStation 2 game. So that's four. Alright. Every single one of them is called The Thing. No subtitles or anything like that. I have four cases that say The Thing. And it can refer to any one of these, which are completely different to each and every one of them. So, I just found that pretty crazy. That's, I have four of these, uh, and every single one of them is just called The Thing. They couldn't have just, you know, The Thing 1, the remake. Yeah, just The Thing. Anyway, <laughs> but I'm very glad to have this one. It's in black and white, and it is a very entertaining film to watch. It really is. So, yeah, glad to have that one. Um, right, now I got a figurine, finally got this figurine, um, there is another one, like I said in my last game room haul, that there were two figurines coming, and I got the one of them, the other one's not here yet, which I'm starting to panic, panic about, because that's the one that I really, 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 really wanted, but this one I'm very glad to have, and um, if you saw on my social media, my attempt to get people to <laughs> watch these videos um, yeah this is the figurine it is uh, well, hang on let's get there up up close and personal there you go uh, let's go that side there we go that's uh what's her name maki nishikino from love live school idol festival I don't know. I haven't watched it. I haven't got it. I haven't researched it. I don't know. But I saw this figurine and it is just amazing. Look at the freaking colors, man. The the red and the purple and that just that look. That fiery orange on the hair is just I had to get it. It just looks amazing. Like absolutely amazing. I freaking love this figurine. And it was actually really, really cheap for the quality of this figurine. Like, I thought this would have been in maybe the, the 200s. Um, but no, it was a two-digit two digit number. So, very, very happy to have this. Very, very happy to have this. Really, really cool figurine. And I'm breaking it already. Damn it. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's... That's pretty much everything I got for the physical haul this time around. Um, now I did get a download code for this week, this month's um, 
Pokemon, mythical Pokemon for Pokemon 20, and it's Genesect. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Um, I still haven't got the Caldeo uh, Pokeball or Pinbox, which I'm really gonna have to kick into high gear to try and find that because I don't want to miss out on it because that, that'll be a missing piece in my collection that I want. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, I have been playing a bit of Pokemon Y and it's actually, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Just prepping myself for the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon which is coming out very very soon. I'm pretty sure I should have it for my next game room haul. The next game room haul is going to be pretty damn cool because there is a lot of my pre-orders that have come out um, that are coming out very soon. So yeah, check that game room haul out. It's coming up in two weeks and it's going to be amazing. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, going to my digital haul. Only one thing. Free with gold this week on well, this month. Free with gold on Xbox 360 is the secret of monkey island and this is the special edition um never played it don't know anything about it it looks quite fun well it looks colorful so i might give it a go um so yeah got that one that's pretty much it yeah yep that is pretty much it and for um, what i've set my eyes on and what i'm looking forward to is pretty much just all my pre-orders yeah november's a big month for pre-orders um not much else i can say about it i'm not going to ruin the surprise of what i'm going to be getting but uh yeah tune into the next game room haul because it's going to be freaking awesome um i'm also looking at getting uh some some comics uh especially the teen titans teen titan go teen titans go not the um like the semi serious anime um animation um i'm looking at the the ridiculous hilarious almost chibi animation um of the comics so i'm looking at getting at those um i also found the orange version of raven the pop vinyl which i also want to get which is really cool um Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Yeah, not a big game room haul this time around. But uh, like I said, got some pretty damn cool things. So um, yeah, join me next time um, for a really cool game room haul. Going to have some really groovy things. Um, Going to be some big experience. I'm looking at... I'm actually expecting to reach... What's it, level 16? next game room haul. I don't think I reached it this time around. Um, so yeah, yeah, look for that. And otherwise, um, you guys can check me out on on Instagram. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be active on Instagram. That's, that's actually turning out to be quite fun because um, I'm actually found a passion for taking photos of, of these things. It's actually, actually quite cool. I'm, I'm actually enjoying that. So yeah, check that out, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next Game Room Hall, or the next video, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye.